So I'm gonna show you how to take a screenshot on a Windows desktop PC or a laptop. So all you need to do is find your Windows key. It's usually down here in the lower left corner. And then you just need to go to the top right of your keyboard and look for the print screen key. That sometimes is abbreviated like PRT slash SCR. And there's different abbreviations for it, but it is the print screen key is what you're looking for there. And then all you have to do is press and hold down the Windows key and press the print screen key one time. So that should capture the entire desktop. And if you just simply browse to your pictures folder, you should see a screenshots folder created for you if you didn't have one already. But if you go in there, you can actually open up the screenshot. So there's a screenshot that I just took. And if you wanna actually work with that screenshot from this point on, you can actually right click on it and go to open with. You have the option to open it in paint, photos, or the snipping tool here. Let's just say I wanna open it in the paint program. Now I can go in here and make edits to this photo, change colors, dimensions, and put text to it. And then over here on the top right, I can then, after I make all those edits, I can file, save as. And then this is the most common format, JPEG picture. You want to save it as a JPEG picture. It'll come up and give you the option to save it. You just simply click save and OK. The other way you can take a screenshot is just simply press the print screen key one time. That actually copies it to the clipboard. And on Windows 11 here, if I go down here to this little search tool and I type in paint for the paint program. So if you're on a different version of Windows, just find and or open your paint program. I'm gonna open that up. And then up here in the top left corner, if I simply press on this like little clipboard here, that's gonna paste the photo right into the paint program. So we're right back where we were in the other one. You can make all the changes. You can choose file save as JPEG, and that'll give you the option to save this one as whatever you wanna name it down here. I'm just gonna leave it untitled. And the last one here I wanna share with you guys, if you just press the Windows key, the shift key and the S at the same time, that will open up the snipping tool. So let's go ahead and try it. Windows key, shift and S that darkens the screen and that opens up what is called the snipping tool. And up here at the top, there's a nice little toolbar that shows up. And if you hover over these, you get rectangular mode, you get freeform mode, window mode, and I think full screen mode. I'm just going to leave the rectangular mode selected. And all you need to do is left click on the mouse and drag this box. Say I just want to get a picture of this mountain lion just like that. It'll save it to the, like in the snipping tool clipboard here. And if you click on it, you can actually work with the file here or save it and do a few things with it there. And what's nice about it is it actually puts it into the pictures folder as well in the screenshots folder. So I can go in here and open that back up just like that. And why it's in the pictures folder, let's just say you wanted to work with this file in something other than the snipping tool. You could right click on it. You could go to open with, you could put it in the paint program. There it is in the paint program and you can pretty much work with it here, do all the good stuff. and you you can change how it's the extension on it. You can choose file save as a JPEG picture, which is how I pretty much save all of mine. And then I'll just scroll down here. You could name it whatever you want and click save and tell it okay. So that's pretty much all you need to do to take like screenshots on a Windows desktop PC or a laptop. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button and share it and I'll see you in the next one.